Hi, I'm Andy Mattingly and I'm here with this week's Save It Up Moment. This week we want to talk about home improvements that make financial sense. Before you start a major home improvement, you need to make sure that financially there's a good reason why you're doing this. And there are a few things you want to make sure you keep in mind. So first, if you're making the improvements to sell your home, talk with a real estate professional and make sure that the cost of the project will be recouped in the increased value that your house will bring. You know, sometimes a kitchen remodel is more important than a basement remodel. Sometimes it's more important to do several small ones instead of one large one to get the best return. Now, if you're making a home improvement to expand your living space because you're going to stay in your home or do something else, there's kind of three things you want to make sure that you think about here from a financial standpoint. Um, one, make sure your home improvement doesn't price you out of the neighborhood. If you do an addition and your house is now twice as big as any other house in the neighborhood, you're probably not going to get the value back out of that. Um, don't create a new problem by solving an existing problem. For example, you want a family room and you use the garage for a family room. Now you don't have a garage and so that's kind of an issue. And then also know how long you're going to stay um, in your home. If you plan to move within three years, make sure that whatever you're doing is going to add value when you're going to sell it. Um, projects like basement refinishing or expanding the master bedroom may not give you the value if you're going to be in it in a short period of time. And then kind of the last thought about making sure home improvements make financial sense is what are you going to do when you need to pay for this? How are you going to pay for it? You know, a home equity loan, um, because it has lower payments, a longer repayment period, usually better rates, and the opportunity to maybe get some tax advantages is usually the best method to do, especially if it's a larger expense. What you don't want to do is put it on a higher rate credit card because you're going to end up paying more for that home improvement. These are some of the things you need to think about when you're making a home improvement. If you want any more information on this topic or any other topic, make sure you visit forumcu.com and the Save It Up page.